Welcome to our special segment about how to dodge questions about your complicity in genocide. Are you a member of Congress who's tired of those pesky questions about your support for genocide? Sometimes you just want to relax without being bothered by those nagging questions about your moral compass. But fear not. We have listed here the top 10 tips on how you can avoid those uncomfortable inquiries like a pro. Tip number one. Report the weather instead. Have you called for a ceasefire? It's a pretty day in Washington, D.C. <laughs> Do you it's support more weapons nice to Israel? It's much warmer than you would think. Do you support more uh, weapons which is, to uh, Israel? Really, is this really, is a serious, serious yeah, issue. Really, really this good. Is, we're not asking for a weather. So program. close. Yeah. Tip number two. Eat a smoothie. Ah, the classic smoothie distraction technique. Yes, yeah. While you're eating, are you thinking about the people of Gaza who are starving? Tip number three. Pretend you're on the phone. Will you vote I'm on the for? Phone, sorry. Yeah, it's just a yes or no. I'm on the phone. Thank you. Will you say no to more weapons to Israel? Can I ask the reason for that? I'm sorry, I'm making a call. But sir, there's yeah, a genocide I mean, occurring right now in 600,000. Hello. Can you hear me? Oh. Tip number four: Have your staffer talk to you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that would be the concern. We can. We can, you know, address it one of the two ways. Yeah. Congressman, if so you call for a ceasefire in Gaza, with them. Mm -hmm. Congressman, have you we'll called for a ceasefire? And then we can go forward Congressman, are you in favor of but, more yeah, weapons to Israel during this time of a genocide? I think the next step will be for me to call. Hello. My Tip number five, act like you're deaf. Hi, Congressman. I remember seeing you the other day. Are you going to call for a ceasefire in Gaza? Last time we talked, you didn't answer my question. Is there a reason that you're not willing to call for a ceasefire given the genocide and the fact that Rafa is certainly not a safe zone? Call for a ceasefire. Who's going to be called for a ceasefire? Hello, Congressman. I'm down here. Have you called for a ceasefire? Yeah, I figured I won't Hello. Congressman, are you, is your hearing okay? <laughs> Staff, your Congressman's hearing, it's not, it's not well. Congressman, it's a yes or no. Have you called for a ceasefire? Are you in support of more money going to Israel? Am I here? Are you hearing me? Hello? Congressman, can you answer that? Congressman, how Sir, much longer are you going to ignore genocide? Are you going to just ignore genocide and you're the public? Aren't you a public servant? Are your ears okay, sir? Tip number six, pretend you need to go to the bathroom. Sorry, running to the bathroom. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> everybody in the restroom. Tip number seven, you're late for a vote. Sorry, late for a vote. Late for a vote. You called for a vote. I'm rushing to vote. Okay. I'm heading to it. Please. Congressman, why do you think we should send more money to Israel? There, you know, I, I don't have time right now. I'm sorry. Well, I understand, sir, but it's very, very urgent. And I'm just wondering if you would commit not to send any more weapons to Israel, given that it's breaking our own domestic law and that Israel is blocking humanitarian aid, which is a war crime. I, I, again, I've got a committee here I have to go to. Any Tip number eight. Tell them to go to your website and read your statement online. Tell them to do their homework. They're in Gaza. But you know what? I would recommend that you go and you look at my website. Can you I just tell me if you uh, have hope supported it? And how about weapons to Israel? Number nine, pretend you're texting. Texting. But oh, watch out about walking into a lamppost. Tip number 10. Ask them if they're a constituent or if they even know your name. Sir, could you please answer a yes or no? Uh, are you a member of the first district of Utah? You know, you represent the American people. Aren't you proud of what your position is? I'm very proud. Well, so what is the position? You know my name? It doesn't matter. I'd ask your position. There you have it, folks. And when in doubt, just smile and keep walking. Thanks for watching and happy dodging.